Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daichin's Daily Dharma. Uh, it's such a pleasure to share uh, little moments of daily wisdom with you. Um, the intention of Daichin's Daily Dharma is to bring people together and um, to share knowledge of yoga, meditation, massage, um, uh, life coaching. There's lots of other topics, uh, even literary criticism, you know, many fields of Dharma. Dharma is your path, right? And Tantra is your purpose, right? Is your value, what, what's worth, what everything you're doing is, is for, intended for. So today's topic in Daichin's Daily Dharma is called 10 Things Before Breakfast. Um, it's called a list of 10 things before breakfast. And this is a practice I picked up um, three years ago f from uh, James Altucher. Okay, James Altucher, the rich employee. Okay, James Altucher, the rich employee. And I'll include um, a link to James Altucher's book, The Rich Employee, uh, in the uh, first comment to the YouTube posting. So, uh, ten things before list of ten things before breakfast. <clears throat> you just need a basic uh, pad of paper and a pen or pencil, and you want to do this before breakfast. Okay, you want to do this is a, a a list that you do before breakfast. So I have not had my breakfast yet today, um, and it's meant to stimulate the mind, of course, and to create a value system for ideas, to get your mind to be appetized by ideas. And, um, you know, sometimes it's very easy to finish a list of 10 things, um, and you have more things, you can always add more. Other times, uh, depending on this, the topic that you choose, you know, finding 10 different things might be a stretch. So it stretches the mind. It, it shows the limits of where the mind runs out of ideas. And so it's a lovely little practice called 10, list of 10 things before breakfast. So step one, you wake up, you get your pad, you get your pen, and you write in the margin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then you give yourself a topic. It can be a ta challenging topic, it can be an easy topic, you know, it, it's just a daily practice. So today I'm going to choose uh, ten things I love about Daichin's daily dharma. Okay, let's see. Hmm. One, um, catchy title. Okay, catchy title. Uh, number two, um, it's uh, a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary. Okay, scary to expose myself every day, right? To share how I'm doing and what I'm doing every day. Scary to share. Um, I love it because it gets me attention. Maybe if, if somebody is watching out there. Uh, I like it because uh, it's good practice. Okay, it's practice being on camera. Right, getting comfortable with that. Um, it is, uh, let's see, um, I love it because it's a professional tool, right? Get my ideas out there in a kind of rough draft form. Um, eventually it will be monetized, eventually, okay, monetized. This is also a path of you know, Dharma includes your path to prosperity, your path of survival. Uh, let's see. Um, seven uh, makes me in group, right? Makes me a YouTuber. I'm, I'm a new guy. I'm the new kid on the block, but uh, I'm officially a YouTuber. Okay. Which, which is kind of a younger generation thing. You know, I was in Hollywood and a friend of mine said, oh God, forget about movies, 
forget about acting. It's all about YouTube, right? All the young people, they don't know who the movie stars are. They, they know who the YouTube stars are. And, um, you know, so I'm not just trying to give in to every fad, but um, you do have to go with the trends. You have to follow um, the trends, you know, at middle age. Uh, let's see, eight. Um, it focuses my ideas. Okay. So, focuses my ideas, meaning that the whole rest of the day when I see something or something's happening, I start to think, oh, would that be a good clip for the show? Um, should I save that for the show? Um, and, um, you know, it makes me experience things a little deeper. Let's see, what do I got here? Catchy titles, scary to share, attention, practice being on camera, professional tool, monetize, make me a YouTuber, focuses my ideas. And of course, um, you know, access to knowledge. I'm not just here to make funny jokes. I'm here to make important points about Dharma, about yoga. To share techniques that are useful and that help me get through the day and help me maintain my health and well-being. And um, but I wish to share this. I wish for everybody to know what I know. You know, I wish for everybody to have the same capacity for self-care that I have learned from many great teachers and, and from my own experience. All right, number ten. See, it gets kind of hard now. You know, I've come up with a lot of the basic ones, obvious ones. One more. What's the stretch? What's the? What do I love about um, Dachin's Daily Dharma? Um, I guess I love that I'm I'm new at it and I'm learning. Right? I love learning, so uh, I'm I'm new at it, and it represents a learning process for me. That's why I want feedback from you so much. I want comments and of course I want you to click like and subscribe and all those good things. But please engage, ask questions, uh, follow up, you know. Um, Deichin, what did you really mean when you said this and that? Deichin, I tried what you did, but this happened, you know. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback, so um, thank you so much. All right, well there you go, list of 10 things before breakfast. And uh, the 10 things that I love about Dachin's Daily Dharma. Uh, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, tune in soon. We'll be doing some more uh, yoga practices, some sequences this week. And um, have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Monday.